It's an absolutely glorious afternoon here at SJP. A few hours until the big match against Barrow and it's time for a pitch update with Chaz. Chaz, we'll start. How's your nerves ahead of this evening? Um, to be fair, it's, it's another game for us. Um, you know, we're just doing, it's not our job to get nervous. It's our job to prepare the pitch and we're, it's a, a, another day for us. And we'll prepare it in the same way as we prepared for every, every other game of the season, the best we can possibly do for the lads. Um, and, you know, obviously personally I wish him well but professionally um, it's just another day at the office for us um, and uh, yeah nothing nothing changes we'll just do our job and and that's our part of the equation yeah obviously we, we've spoke about how good the pitch has been this season but on a lovely sunny afternoon like this it just looks even better doesn't it uh, yeah I mean it's just started to really grow now um, you know I'll, I'll be quite honest we, we've struggled to get it to grow really well um, it, you know, we've not managed this pitch before in the, its current state, so um, and it's just growing like there's no tomorrow, to be fair, um, which is great. Uh, um, we're taking off a you know, considerable amount of grass every day, so it's recovering really quickly. Um, it'd be lovely if the season was just starting, to be fair, <laughs> not with uh, two games to go. Um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, we're really pleased. It's nice and firm, nice and smooth, looks good. People are going to want to come and play football on it and go, yeah, I'm, I fancy that. So, and and that's what we're that's what we were tasked to do a couple of years ago when we started looking. Um, you know, we spoke to everybody concerned, what do you actually want? And we got you know, and kind of proof of the puddings in the eating, really. Um, and uh, yeah, we're really proud. Um, every match day now, you you're proud to go and speak to the opposition coaches and welcome them to SJP and. Uh, yeah, they're often complimentary and um, and that's kind of where you really, it's a fantastic situation to be in. Um, so yeah, it's been a, been a, so far it's been a, a good season for us groundsmen. Uh, and yeah, look forward to tonight and yeah, onwards and upwards. So talk to me about Saturday then, did you have many match day programmes to sign? No, I did, a couple of you took the mick out of me, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, I was told that we're not allowed to banter in the workplace, but I think uh, I think I'll keep it going while I'm still working. Maybe when I retire, they can retire the banter. But no, it's all good fun. Um, you know, really honoured that you know you chose me to to be on the front there, and um, yeah, I took a bit of stick from my mates and my family and that, but I, th I kind of think they're jealous, really. On a serious note, though, obviously. It's all about what the players do on the pitch. But w without your hard work, you're part of this team as well. Without ha all the hard work that you've put into the pitch, they perhaps wouldn't be playing such brilliant football at the moment. Yeah, yeah, we know we're part of the team, um, but we're a very small cog in the in you know in the gearbox that is Exeter City. Uh, and you know we're paid to do a job, and we we do our best at that job, and in the same way as everyone else has. And you know, it's. Uh, you know, we're respected and, you know, the programme's just a tiny little thing to show the sort of level that you know, they, they, they pitch me and my boys at them. I always, I always get in the in the photos and on the on the, on the interviews and that. But, you know, it's as much those two guys as well. Um, you know, every day we sit there and we talk about what we're going to do, the, what we want to achieve at the end of the day and how we're going to get there. And they're a big part of it. Um, and, and I'm really grateful for those two guys to listening to my ramblings and I really respect and appreciate their input into every day every single day we all work together and we all put a shift in uh you know some days if the weather's bad you know we'll, we'll relax a little bit but like at the moment it's 100 mile an hour we've got work going on at the camp fiddle uh on pitches uh improving pitches for the academy players so they can play on grass more often um you know we've got this this place is is growing and are really needy at the moment and um you know obviously got the planned works going on we've already done one pitch out the cat fiddle which is now covered in grass and i keep meaning to do a video uh just to let everybody know how it is out there but we're really pleased with the germination and you know uh, in uh, you know when when we're ready to take this up when they finish with this we'll do exactly the same in here um and you know and then and then you know, have a bit of a rest, bit of downtime, and hopefully have a bit of a rest, and maybe do a bit of fishing, um, bit of sitting, uh, sitting around in the sun, and uh, 
probably know me I'll probably end up <laughs> doing my cricket square but uh, you know we're 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 sort of we're desperately trying to have a bit of a break this year after the end of the season um because the last few years, for every all of us, we've all had an intense time, and we're trying to desperately get back to some sort of normality. Otherwise, your head, the head pixies start dancing. So, um, yeah, we're we're uh, we're we're focusing really hard on what we got to do. Um, I'm feeling my age, and I know Pat is as well. Mark's a bit better off because he's a bit younger. He's got a few years less than us. We've had more difficult paper rounds, but that's only because we didn't work very hard at school. So, that's our own fault. <laughs> Like you said, Mark and Pat are part of the team as well, so I reckon last game against Port Vale, we'll try and get them on here as well. You know what I'm going to ask you now, the all-important question, what's on today's menu? Well, to be honest, um, we de decided on uh, Saturday was uh, we'd do a bit of tapas, and I messaged out the oh. volunteers and we said we'd do a bit of tapas, um, and that got a bit, went a bit crazy, so we've got leftover tapas from the tapas we had on Saturday, so we got a selection of cheeses, meets one of the lads is a butcher so he comes in with like fresh sliced beef and uh ham and it's absolutely stunning so um yeah we'll uh we'll be we'll be drunk on food later on um we've got some biscuits and chips and dips and that's it's a bit easier on a match day because you just get in and just lay it on the table and everyone can muck in so yeah it's, it's tapas tonight with the goes with the weather mediterranean weather mediterranean food and uh yeah it's uh it's that's where we are with the food. If you're wondering where I am later, I'll be uh, having some of Chaz's tapas. <laughs> you're more than welcome. <laughs> Marvelous, Chaz. We'll let you get on uh, and in, yeah, topic topic with suntan while you're finishing off the pitch. And um, well, well, we'll we'll chat soon. Yeah, I got sunburnt yesterday on my arms. Sat on the tractor doing my drainage with my with my chain trencher. So um, yeah, and I'll be doing that again Thursday. <laughs> 